Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I have just now, as I started recording this video, realized that the paint job on the walls of this entrance tunnel uh, is meant to resemble the paint job on the sides of Easter eggs. Which I guess almost makes sense, because this is where White Rabbit lives. Oh, I've just realized that these smears up on the wall are giant handprints. That's very funny. And on the ceiling. And I'm kind of surprised there's not a great big hole in here somewhere that she walked out of. Hmm. How strange, all things considered. Shout out to Justin Jones, who says, This little adventure is one of Dr. Powerwash's many exposures to chaos, a very benign version, to be sure, in all of his long years as a perpetual. At the moment, he doesn't think much of it, as it seemed like a fever dream more than anything else. However, as the years go by and he encounters other perpetuals, such as John Grammaticus, he learns the awful truth. You will note I said many exposures to chaos. Dr. Powerwash's first exposure of co was, of course, during his encounter with the warp entity that called itself Santa Claus. There is a high probability that Dr. Powerwash has had other encounters with the Immaterium, but they have not been documented as of yet. Oh dear. There was a great book I read a year or so ago that discusses the origins of profanity. The guy who wrote it, John McHorter, is a professor of linguistics. Anyway, he mentions a Looney Tunes episode from the 1930s, in which Porky Pig smashes his hand with a hammer, ooh, and keeps stuttering out, Son of a... until he finally manages to say, Son of a gun! He then pauses and says, I bet you thought I was going to say son of a bitch. I thought that McHorder was bullshitting me until I looked it up on YouTube. I searched for something like Porky Pig, Son of a Bitch, and sure enough, there it was, just as John McHorter described it. As an aside, the other version of his book I read was the audio version. Does that count as having read it? That was him, not me, for the record. Uh, the cool part was that he was narrating his own book, so all of the little jokes and quips landed perfectly. It helps that McHorter is a fantastic narrator. Huh. I like the sound of that. I also like that someone even bothered to study the history of profanity, because it's a very entertaining and possibly amusing topic. Let's clean off this grandfather clock. You see, you can tell that he got this somewhere else and then warped it once it got back to Wonderland, because a real grandfather clock would have started sputtering when I sprayed water onto its face, and it would say something along the lines of, IN MY DAY WE RESPECTED OUR ELDERS! Grandfather clock. Uh... A pun so bad, it could go to jail. Um... Excellent. I feel like it skipped a lot more than usual when it did the ding at the end, but that's okay. Are any of these other pieces of the clock not the clock like the face? Uh, that is to say, for Justin's sake, that the grandfather clock and the grandfather clock face are uh, considered two different pieces. So is the grandfather a pendulum window? Oh god, even the pendulum and the little hanging weights are bent. It's also not moving, despite the sound effect, which is mildly disappointing. Not that much. Uh, counterintuitively, let's clean out the fireplace. And I need a more concentrated one for this, because I feel like there's a yeah, yeah, soot in here, too, in addition to all the other stuff. Hot damn! I mean, it's still gray inside, but... Be 
be it ever so humble. Seeing, you know, fireplace hearth right in front of me, I was thinking about, uh... I used to play World of Warcraft, so I uh, stopped in like 2007, and uh, and I know that because it was after the Burning Crusade came out, but before uh, uh, Wrath of the Lich King. And uh, I was just thinking that I always liked the concept of the Hearthstone. Not the uh, the card game Blizzard released that was named after the artifact. I'm talking about the actual rock that every single character in World of Warcraft starts with. It's just a little magic doohickey. And uh, basically you squeeze it and activate it. And you hold it long enough, you know, because there's a little bar that has to fill up at the bottom of the screen. It teleports you back to wherever you happen to think of as home. It's a good get-out-of-danger-free card, except it takes several seconds, so you can't just use it because you're being chased. You bounced it out and all that. And you can set it to any other place than the one it starts with. By talking to the innkeeper in that town. And because it's an MMO, you know, it actually takes a real-life hour to recharge. You know, so you're not just constantly abusing the magic. But I always liked that, that every single person is basically given the gift of an artifact that will bring them back to home and to safety whenever they need it. opposite direction I was turning in. Actually, no, let's not put that right there. the other part of it. Oh! No, it's not it. Oh! Shit! Gotcha! That is a much cleaner looking fireplace, even though the walls are still stained, uh, gray. Because of course they are. It's the fucking fireplace. Get this flume cleaned up to the ceiling. I will note, you probably should have just, uh... I know, I guess if they're covered in cake gunk, that wouldn't burn. I was gonna suggest just burning the wood as it is, because now you're gonna have to wait for all this wood to completely dry out before you can actually use it as firewood. But hey, fireplace carrot, the carrot on the front of the flume. Feels kind of weird to see all the carrot emphasis after I d happened to mention last session that uh, rabbits don't like carrots. Although again, Wonderland. All bets are off. I suppose I should probably work on down here before I get up. This over anywhere else. Hey, big guy, would you do me a solid and keep an eye on this? There was a spot there I could put it down. Huh. 
Huh? Oh, clock rug, okay. Got you. Hmm. It's actually several clocks superimposed over each other in, like, uh, concentric rings. And none of the clock's numbers line up with each other. Huh. It goes 9, 10, 1. Like the last one is rotated quite a bit off of the other ones. On that note, I've just realized that even though it has hands in the middle, it's pointing at, like, three different times, so... amusingly useless. Oh, Bill's back. So anyways, White Rabbit does what any proud homeowner would do. He climbs up to the window, tutting away. But no sooner had he got up to the window than this huge hand comes out and swats him away like he was a gnat or some some ink. Straight into his prize-winning cucumber frame. Oh dear. Oh, for God's sake. It's clocks, paintings of clocks, uh... Clock with bunny ears. Oh, yes, and most of them are pointing to different times, of course. It doesn't matter what time it is, just that my time is being measured. Two clocks with rabbit ears. I couldn't even tell that was a fucking chair until he got that much off. Clocks. Oh, that's why I couldn't stand up. I was tucked under the kitchen table. But I am not a chair, so I should not be tucked under a table. Where's the last third on the clock's wall? Is that part of the clock? No. always feel a bit ridiculous to uh, lie down flat on the ground and try to get behind something. It's so much easier if I could move objects in the environment. I'll say this, though. Uh, in terms of, you know, DLC experience, uh, 
This has way fewer nooks and crannies than the model accurate uh, vehicles from uh, the Warhammer of DLC. Not to say that's a bad thing, just it's a more complicated thing. Yeah, that DLC definitely, definitely suits itself better to uh, groups of cleaners. As evidenced by how long it took me to do it by myself. Shout out to Roshan, who recently passed 1,200 straight days of uh, commenting in order to engage with the YouTube algorithms. know that I've done the inside of somebody's house before. As I reveal more and more of it, oh, this place is actually pretty nice. I guess I'll clean off the kitchen, too. Gotta do it while I'm here. I mean, you can end the job early. You'll get fewer stars and less money. And if you're wondering why in the world you would do that, I think you can only have one uh, regular campaign save and one special mission save at a time. So if I wanted to, say, quit this and go do the SpongeBob thing immediately, I would not be able to do that without qu uh, quitting out of this uh, task. Even if it is only 30% money. Feels like a bad review to me. Uh, that is to say, I'm making a joke like a bad Yelp review for Power Wash Incorporated, or whatever it is that the uh, company is actually called. It's been a while since I've seen the van. Oh, good. The individual cabinet doors need to be cleaned up. Clean off the feetsies on that jar. Kitchen splashback. Huh. I didn't know that's what that was called. What? Utensil. Oh, it's a... Well, it's a vegetable peeler, and the handle is shaped like a carrot. Except that there's also a, uh... A spatula. A spoon. A ladle. And a, uh... Oh, it's another one of the spatulas, but without the, uh, the hollow lines in the middle. It's just a solid piece. I guess that one's just for flipping. And all of them have carrot handles, which makes less sense than the uh, vegetable one, admittedly. But maybe if you're ladling carrot soup, it's fine. I have remembered a reference, apropos of nothing, that my brother made a lot back in the day when he was playing through uh, Persona 4. 
suddenly had the thought that maybe Power Wash Simulator could do a level where you have to clean the meat dimension. Oh dear. There was, uh, it's not as bad as it probably sounds, since you're probably picturing uh, a universe made of wall meat. It was a joke in the game. There's, uh... <laughs> There's this beef bowl challenge, where the idea is to eat this enormous heaping beef bowl in one sitting. And, uh... You can't do it unless your, like, strength stat is high enough, I believe. But, you know, you can improve whatever stat it is that, uh, does that by attempting it, even if you can't do it properly. And, uh, I think that was what it was. It was either that or some, uh, health bonus or other. He just did it a lot, is all I can say. And, uh, when you are doing it, I, I don't know if it's just the ones where you fail or if it always says this, but, you know, it's like, there's so much in here, you distantly wonder if this bowl is actually a portal to the meat dimension. <laughs> eh, I don't know. Seems a bit obscure for these guys. Base of the table is literally a tree stump. Good, good. I like that. That's fun. Get the leaf chair cleaned off. Okay. Alright, let's wrap that up, see if I can get the kitchen floor. There we go. Ooh, this place looks much better than even it did at the beginning of this video. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. When we, uh... Well, continue getting all these nooks and crannies, and then head upstairs, evict the, uh, Cheshire Cat, and finish this place off! Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!